Hey, so if you watched my video yesterday, you witnessed at the end, um, like the moment of another awakening uh, that is still happening and it's kind of blowing my mind. I think this is sort of what happened to me at the beginning of December and maybe uh, it just, I got into the thick of it and sort of lost sight of this. But at the end of my video yesterday, I said, I, I, you know, I was talking about it's done and how that's, that's the approach I've taken to everything that I've created has just been, um, an absolute certainty that it was going to happen. Uh, at the beginning of the science of getting rich, I think in the first, maybe in like the preface, it, it there's a line that says you have to take this book completely on faith. And at the time I was maybe 24 and it was easy for me. I don't just, I just said, okay. And I read the whole book with a completely open mind and ended up kind of getting it that it just, I just needed to believe that it would happen and it would. And so that's how I've done everything. Um, that's, that's how my business, um, that's how I became successful eventually was just, it was done in that moment. It was a done deal. And it was just a matter of getting from point A to point B. Well, yesterday I was talking about how that's my approach. And I realized out loud during the video, you know, I haven't, I've never really applied that to my body image. And I was thinking about it, you know, I've made, I've made videos on this channel about how I shifted my identity and achieved losing a large amount of weight that, you know, the average person never does that. And it eluded me for a long, long time. I mean, I, I was always weight obsessed from the time I was like 12, even though I was never really overweight until like my mid twenties. And I was finally able to overcome that by shifting my identity. And, and in the moment of the identity shift, I knew it was done. I knew it was done. I was just, it was okay, it's a matter of time, that's it. And then it was the messy up and down journey getting from point A to point B. But I realized I, I applied it only to my body weight. And, you know, I had a specific goal. I applied it to being the person that weighs this amount, but I never uh, applied that. I never said it's done you know, I never applied it to my body image and I've been struggling with this since hitting, you know, a weight that's about as low as I want to go. I've been struggling with what do I do now? Because I'm, I'm not happy with this. You know, I, I examined a bunch of beliefs that I have about it and fixed that stuff and it got way better, but you know, it's just, I still haven't been happy. I've just, I don't know. Something has been just off for me. I couldn't, I can't, you know, I've had, I haven't been able to accept myself fully the way I am. And up, you know, up to like two days ago, I was laying on the couch on Sunday night. It's Tuesday. I think, um, I was, I was laying on the couch and I was thinking, you know, I just don't know, like if I'm ever going to be able to deal with this, this might just be something I kind of have to work around. Um, I don't, you know, I've changed my beliefs. I've, and I still, I just, I can't, I can't look in the mirror and not be sad or whatever. You know, I was just like kind of feeling resigned and thinking, I think this might be one of the things I just have to sort of accept about myself. And, um, you know, this really only, it's, it's really only in relation to a romantic partner that this bothers me because I'm fine with how I look more or less. I mean, if nobody's going to see you naked, who really cares how you look naked, right? And I'm fine with how I look in clothes. I don't, you know, I don't really have a problem with that, but I'm just like, man, you know, I really, I really want a perfect body. And I just don't know how I can ever believe that anybody like could find me attractive or something. I don't know. Um, this is the kind of sh like shit that goes through my mind on a daily basis. And I just realized yesterday during that video, I have never said, here's what I want. It's done. Here's what I want is to be happy with my body, it's done. And take care of it for me. I've never done that. So obviously, I instantly did that yesterday. 
my whole life is like a thousand times better already just because I'm not thinking these thoughts anymore about my doubts and my dissatisfaction and running through the hamster wheel trying to figure it out. You know, I said I was, I used the sump pump during a rainstorm, you know, your sump pump breaking during a rainstorm and how when there's like something like that that is emergent in your immediate life, you have to take action and figure it out. Like you have to use your human rational brain, I think, to figure out, um, you know, what do I do? Do I call someone? Do I fix this myself? This has, you know, you can't just let it go. And that is how I was treating my, this issue that is beyond me. You know, I've, I've, did, I've done my best to figure it out. I can't figure it out on this human level. Therefore, it's time to give it to the thing that knows how to get me from point A to point B. You know, like there's a lot of cliche stuff out there, like let go and let God, turn it over to God, you know, and that's, that's never really appealed to me because I think I just never really trusted that that would mean it would be solved. But now I do. Now I understand it from this perspective that all I have to do is know what I want and, and it's done and it will happen. And so, um, so I was thinking about this yesterday, it was on my mind kind of all day. And then, you know, later in the day, I, I, I had been listening to another Bentino Massaro lecture, which I will link below. And, you know, I know what he's talking about in it. He's, he's kind of talking about seeing what you want to see and how the world will conform to only what you see eventually. And that's kind of the idea behind all of this. But um, something about it just sort of clicked into place for me differently. And I realized at some point yesterday that there truly is no actual reality. There, there just isn't. There's no actual reality. It's really only what you're choosing. Um, and it's very difficult to understand that concept if you don't just understand it. I mean, I, I, you know, I couldn't, without sort of a moment of understanding that, um, it's not something that I've been able to just go, oh, okay. I mean, with, with um, the stuff that it's just done about, that I've been able to do. I mean, that's what that means. You know, that's, in order to believe that as long as you decide something is going to happen, that it will. I mean, you have to kind of believe that that sort of goes against the idea that there's an actual reality out there that could fight against that. But um, once again, I just, I just didn't get how all encompassing that is until yesterday. Um, it, it just hit, kind of hit me all at once that there is no reality other than what I choose it to be. If you can't believe that um, wholly, then whatever you can't believe that about will be the stuff that you can't make happen. And, uh, you know, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, what I think this looks like in reality, because I actually, I had some experiences yesterday that I, I don't want to talk about yet, but something pretty crazy happened literally less than an hour after I started thinking about how my reality is only what I choose it to be. Um, and I was already thinking because of the video yesterday about it's done, you know, what does this look like in 3D? Because people always seem to be very confused about ignoring 3D, what that means. Um, I think a lot of people kind of take it to mean that you're delusional or that you just absolutely ignore your 3D reality, which I suppose you could do, um, you know, if you're able to do that, that might be effective. But for me, what that's meant, up to and including like now, for me, what that's meant is that you're basically divided experientially between your higher self and your ego self, you know, you. And as long as your higher self knows that the thing is done, as long as the thing remains done, a done deal in your mind on the creative plane, pretty much anything can happen in your 3D world. And as long as it doesn't change that, it, it's irrelevant. It doesn't matter. So 
um, if you know for a fact, you know, because you have decreed it and you believe it, if you know for a fact that um, your current financial situation is going to rapidly change for the better, and then a week later, a week after just knowing it's done, um, you get uh, an unexpected car repair and, you know, it cleans out all of the money that you have that was making you feel safe or whatever, you know, everything that you had left um, kind of wipes it out. As long as your reaction to that, I mean, it, you can react to that and be angry, upset, depressed, pissed off. You can have the full range of human emotions about whatever happened. And as long as you don't allow it to go into the territory of, maybe it's not done. Maybe I'm really just doomed. Maybe I'm just gonna be struggling for it. You know, as long as you don't go there, it has no effect. Um, basically, it's done changes your thinking in 3D. It does not necessarily, for me anyway, change your emotional reaction to things. Um, and I don't think that matters. You know, there are different types of emotional reactions. I was talking about this with my ex last night. You know, when we were building our business, we had, there were a million ups and downs with that. And, um, you know, before we got into our current business, there were other iterations of things that we did together. And I was telling him, you know, it's funny. Um, Anytime we had some sort of a financial issue, um, it, there was never a sense of, fuck this, I'm giving, you know, there was never a sense of, um, like, personal doom, or um, it was just like, okay, well, this isn't it, you know, this isn't it, um, what's it going to be, you know, where's it going to end up? The only time I can ever think of where I kind of got to that point was where I um, almost went to nursing school and was sort of quickly rescued out of that mentality. But even that, I was just like, you know, um, I'm going to be well off. I'm, you know, I'm going to be successful. It's just how am I going to be successful? You know, I wanted to be an entrepreneur, but instead I'll be, you know, a nurse practitioner or something. There was never a, okay, I give up. I'm not going to be successful. You know, maybe I'm just going to be broke. Maybe I'm just going to be, you know, um, in, in, like kind of embarrassed and a loser and all that, you know, that never entered my mind ever. And when I look at the stuff where I, I haven't already said or hadn't, it's done. I was having thoughts about that, that were very much in alignment with like giving up and it's not done. It's not a done deal. Um, so I just wanted to talk about that because it's pretty crazy what, what, like what's going on right now with me that I can't really talk about yet, but um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about how in 3D you can feel like absolute crap as long as your higher self, your subconscious mind, um, whatever the liaison is between ego you and the divine intelligence that will get you whatever you want, as long as the liaison has not been told, give up on this, it's not gonna happen, it, it will still happen. It will still progress. And you will feel better during the inevitable moments of doubt. Um, where things happen that appear to be something other than what you want. And they often turn out to be right in alignment with a bridge of incidents to what you want anyway. So yeah, thanks for witnessing my, my uh, spiritual awakening version two that's happening right now.